What up, though? This your boy BZ430 back again with Dead End Gaming 49. 49. Ooh, I yes. almost at that big 5 I know, oh, almost yeah. at the big. Shit. Oh, man. We something special. Shit, we're going to be at 100 pretty soon. Damn. You about really to be that halfway man. point. Hey, I'm, I'm, already, I'm already thinking ahead. I'm already thinking ahead. I'm already thinking ahead. Like, man, hundred. That's gonna be so dope when we get to hundred. But um, yes, back again with another episode. Of course, y'all see, I'm back. You know, I was on vacation, man. I was had to had to had to take a mental break. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm back. I'm back. I was about to sing for y'all, but I'm, you know, I did enough singing before we started going live. So I'm just, I'm just gonna hold up. Should have came to now. Twitch. Should've, yeah, should have came, came to Twitch early because I was I was hitting them notes, man. I was hitting them. But um, yes, uh, of course, as usual, we go, we're live at Dead End Studios in Atlanta. See? Yeah, look, Kevin was waiting. Like, you better say that shit. You better say it. I was totally going to interrupt you if you, you did. You was? Right. No. Nah, it was going to be loud, too. Oh, it was. It was just like Ken. <laughs> hey, what? The spirit of Ken exists. We're the recording world. that. <laughs> but um, yes, of course, we're going to start off with the games we've been playing this week. So, what you been playing, Granddad? Same old shit. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11, of course. Got to keep myself sharp. Uh, posted some uh, videos on uh, Twitter. Yeah, I know. Some crazy uh, comeback videos and some some crazy match wins. So shit uh, was set up or what? Nigga, I don't that ain't set up. <laughs> nigga, that's that's the skill. <laughs> nigga, like yo, I ain't believe I be winning them shit though for real. Like you but, be telling people like, hey man, beat my ass and then like I know <laughs> you beat my ass for a good like ninety <laughs> right. percent of the round. Right, and then then put the controller down. Yeah, right. Let me let me get this comeback real quick. But now um, check it out on my Twitter. Some good comeback videos. But I've been playing that, and of course Smash because we got the Smash tournament this week, this Saturday. Um, so I got to get myself sharp for that. But other than that, I've been working on getting the the tournament set up and ready. Um, I'm excited for this. I'm more excited oh, yeah. for this than um, the Mortal Kombat tournament to be honest, because it's just like the turnout's going to be good. Spots are all filled. People are waiting. A lot of people are training and practicing. We got the spotlight match against Cheesy Boys, uh, the Cheesy Controller podcast, which is going to be dope. And uh, speaking of, uh, since we since we on the subject, well, I'll wait. What should I should I, should I? do no, it now? Not sure. Yeah. Sure. So you know when you when when you go to the tournament, you know you sign up, you play. If you win, cash pot prize, of course, you're gonna get a DG interview. And finally, y'all, I'm gonna unveil it right here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You gotta show them the vinyl too, man. Show, I'm, show show, the vinyl. I'm gonna show them one off. Look at that. Can y'all see that shit? Can I see that? Is that clean? Boom. Winner will get that. And also, starting on Saturday, a link to buy your own exclusive. Sorry, I ain't about to tell there you go. Buy your own <laughs> Dead End Gaming t-shirt. The merch is here, y'all. Thanks. Saturday, the link will be live. You can buy your own shirt. Support us. You know, let's clean. We'll get different colors, too. It's like, solid with black, black, white, blue, green, yellow, turquoise. Um, all that stuff. We'll figure yeah, it out. All that stuff. And also, we need a placeholder. We need to do a placeholder for the, uh, for the show. Bam, bitch. Bam. Friday, Bam. nigga. Got the physical joint. Friday, nigga. Oh man! I think I, I think Tyler was next up in the rotation. Yes. Okay. Tyler, what have you been playing? If you if you have been playing, I know you've been. I know your schedule's been. Uh, I know you've been busy. I know your schedule's been hectic. Yeah, I still haven't still had time crazy. to do shit. But I am looking forward to hopefully actually having some time to game this weekend. Maybe like experiment with this new Overwatch character that they just announced. I don't even know if he's going to be live this weekend though. Um, but either way. Definitely, like, trying to get some gaming in this weekend, hopefully, because my schedule is about to clear up very slightly. Okay. So, yeah, hopefully I'll actually have a real answer to this question next Dang, week. So but you... in the meantime, I've just been playing myself with oh, my fucking work schedule, with my work life. My work life balance is playing me. That's what's happening. Yeah. Mm. Dang. So no rage to or nothing. Somebody fill in for Tyler so she can play some video games. Yeah, I call him sick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like some Rage 2, some Fallout 76, some Apex, like all of that shit. Damn. And I'm thinking, I haven't decided yet, but I think I want to go back and play Dante's Inferno. Oh, God. So yeah. right. I might right. do, like, yeah, I might shit. start doing, like, the Throwback Thursday again with that shit. Go we'll live see. on that motherfucker, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can go in and sabotage that damn chat in that chat room. Um, Eric, damn. Literally, damn. literally welcome to hell. <laughs> welcome to hell, bitch. Welcome to hell. Yep, literally welcome to hell. All right, so I've been playing Sonic Mania. I was on the last stage. Could not beat that shit that night, and I didn't play it again. Um, I will go back and play it to attempt to beat it. You played that game for like two months. No, nah, I played it for like... Two weeks. It's been like forever. No, nah, it's been like two weeks. Like, 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 I, like I touched it. I touched it uh, once at first, and then I saved it for my Twitch stream. And now that I'm like playing through it on my Twitch screen stream, I'm on the last level. But I can't even. Is I can't it, even. Is that hard? Is that tough? I, it's for me. I'm always oh. bad at platformers, so. Oh, okay. It is to be expected. Have if y'all want to see. 
yet about that being the best Sonic. My ever. opinion is See? still correct, I mean, No, it's not. Correct, it's wrong. It's wrong. So, you, so you say he? Wait a minute. So you say it's the best Sonic ever? Best Sonic ever. And he crazy. I have no respect and he crazy as hell saying that shit. Yeah. You have yeah. to play the game though. You can't tell me I'm wrong unless you play the game. I mean, why I have played Willie the game. Can, Willie, can wrong, tell, Willie can tell why me you, I'm wrong. You are wrong. But Willie is often wrong. So I I his, his opinion wrong. is not to be <laughs> you just don't take it seriously. That you ain't right, nigga. Anyway. It's the best Sonic game. It is not. Dang, so not the OG Sonic games? It's better than There's those. no respect. It's an improvement There's on those no games. Respect. Really? Like, I don't have to respect the Coming first card. Coming from the nigga who can't even beat the last level. I beat the game, y'all. So if y'all want to see the game completed, you can see it on my YouTube. Because I beat it. I mean, I will beat the game. Eventually, I already beat it. Ooh. It ain't the game. It ain't the best game. Ooh, it's kill the best, him. It's the best Sonic <laughs> game. Over there, it's the game. <laughs> it's the it's best not the Sonic best game. Sonic game, fam. It, it is. is. It is top five, but it's not the best of all time. I cannot take that. You're going to take it. I'm not. You I'm gonna, not, you I'm not accepting it. it. I'm taking about, that shit back. Dude, it's the receipt. easy way to hard way. I got the receipt. The choice is yours. <laughs> <laughs> what about the... Uh, I'm going to move. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, your Saturday? Saturday? Old School Saturday Old this week was Def Jam Vendetta. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, there you I would go. Never seen it. it was fun as hell. Um, I, I got up to Nori. He was kind of tough. Scarface was easy as fuck. And then after Nori, I ran into this preacher dude who would literally like crucify me and then stand me on my head and chop me in my nuts. And I could not beat that dude for shit. Are you serious? I played him like four times, and I'm like, well, this stream has already been like two hours. Like, my old school <laughs> shit? Like, I don't like being there for too long. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, that's enough of that, so I'm out of here. But um, let's see. Played a little bit of Tekken 7. Got my ass smacked in that shit, too. I played... I've been taking L's this week. I played Forza Horizon 4. And this car, like, you could have You did custom- that Lego shit, didn't you? Hmm? You did that Lego shit, didn't you? Uh, Yeah, I was in the Lego world. What? Pay for that bitch, man. So you pay for it? I did. <laughs> That's how you access it. I didn't pay for the game, no game pass shout out. Obligatory. Oh Lord. Oh, Ooh, how's god. that segue? Oh my god. How you like that transition? Anyway. <laughs> we are not even ten minutes in, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right. ladies already he, couldn't wait. he couldn't wait. He couldn't. So for this certain race, you have to use a certain truck and you can pick certain designs on these vehicles. I'm looking and I'm like, oh, this one has Area fifty one raid on it on the truck so i could put that on the side of my truck that looks pretty like funny and hip or whatever Mm -hmm. so i put that on the truck and you can only see the side of the truck when you play when you selecting which vehicle you want to use i get into the race and on the back of the truck that bitch says shoot gay boys (laughs) yeah (laughs) and i was like oh Oh, shit (laughs) and i'm on twitch i'm like pause quick 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 (laughs) abort so forza kicked my ass too and then, of course, my brand new game, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Um, I've been waiting on this game for damn near over 10 years now. And I'm, Is I'm it liking worth the wait? Is 10 it 10 year wait? For, for me, because I'm a huge ass Marvel fan. It, it's fun. It's a good time, man. And I've been playing it with uh, people on Twitch. And shout out to y'all. I'm, I know I'm going to forget somebody if I try to name all y'all. But um, it's fun as fuck, man, and we should get it in on that as Willie suggested. Yeah, yeah I gotta day. get that game too. I'm gonna I'm I'm cop it soon. But yeah, I think that would be cool for us to all play. Four player local. Yeah, we could play. Oh, it, it is. It's a four player local game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I play it with y'all. So uh, can I like pick. Yeah, I can. I can pick any. Yeah. Like super. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Game is tight. Yeah. We're also talking about Forza. We're talking about Ultimate uh, Alliance Marvel. Three. Oh, Marvel okay. Ultimate Alliance Three. Okay. Yeah. So the game, I mean, of course, y'all know the game, <clears throat> the game I've been playing. I played this before I went on vacation, came right back from vacation and p- played it again and finished it up. Uh, it's Wolfenstein. Of course, I'm, I'm going through the whole Wolfenstein series. Uh, like I said, I beat Old Blood. I just I just completed um, New Order the night before last, you know, Sunday night. I completed New Order. And yet last night I started uh, New Colossus. So I'm about to. I'm going through these Wolfenstein games, man. I'm, I'm getting ready because Young Blood comes out this Friday, mm. so I want to make sure I beat New Colossus before I play Young Blood because that one's that one got um, where the daughter is looking for the main character of these past few uh, Wolfenstein games I've been playing. So I'm like really interested in getting into this, and I like I like this New Colossus so far. It is, it's definitely a little bloodier than and a little more gory than, than the previous one. So I like that shit, man. That shit is dope. So. Them the games that I've been playing this week so far. You got to have his blood and gore. <laughs> what? Eric's yeah. already thinking about the I just next like one. that's your measure of a quality of a game. <laughs> I love it, man. Because, like, when I was playing it, like, I'm, last night, y'all, if y'all saw my Twitch, y'all, y'all saw how hype I was getting. 
Like instead of you having a bullshit little knife in the previous ones, on this one you have an axe. So like now, <laughs> <laughs> so like, so like now, so like when you sneak, you know, like in the, the previous ones, the New Order and the and um, Old Blood, when you sneak up somebody with a knife, you just just stab them on top of the head or whatever. Man, with that axe, you get behind the axe, you chop off legs. Man, you chopping everything off at that point. Blood just gushing everywhere. I'm like, man, I, I think I came everybody. into your stream when like someone's head got cut off. And you were just yes. like, you was having a time of your life. Yes. And they was playing with the head and shit, like yes. putting in the camera. Yes. And you was yeah, like, the, the, the oh, I know you. Yes. That's, yeah. yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. hoping she was going to cut it off. I'm like, oh, but please cut it off. Cut the head off. And she was just like, Scrap. I was like, oh, shit. And then everybody was just like, oh, BZ, you love that, don't you? I'm like, she playing with it, putting it in front of her daughter's uh, cooch, crotch area and shit. Like, I, I was like, damn, this game is nuts. We need like, video. Oh, <laughs> we need video. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you talking because of the stream? Out. No, yeah. I'm just saying because because of your descriptive words. Well, if like, y'all if y'all follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash beast four thirty, you would definitely see that stream that was up. She was playing with the head. She cut it off and everything. Man, I loved every second of it. So I'm like, hell, this is this is my type of game. This is my type of game. <laughs> it right is here, man. my type it. of game. Blood and guts and guts and blood. <laughs> I'm like, man. It's, <laughs> <laughs> this is my type of game, man. The guns are a lot better. The gameplay is smoother, you know, than the previous Wolfenstein game. So I can't wait to play this new one, this young blood with the with the daughters, with the twin daughters. It's like, and the storyline is pretty dope because it's like it's picking off right from where all the previous games left off at. So I'm like, oh man, I remember that. I remember he said this. I remember that enemy, or I remember that that person, that ally. So like, it, it, the story is pretty dope. So I'm I'm getting through this game. I'm, I'm a, I want to beat this game at least by the time we for the tournament before the tournament. So that way, when I I'm already by. Young Blood. So once I finish New Colossus, I'm just gonna pop in Young Blood and start playing that. Do you get to kill yeah. the daughters? No, I'm gonna play as the daughters. Is oh, um, I thought that that's what usually what you like to do. So I was kind of sister. I, I was assuming that that was a part no. of the whole okay. Cassie and Abelene no, out no, here. No, you get to play as the daughters in the new one. So I don't get the. I'm gonna be killing them, but Nazis. That's what I'm killing. So. Do you like it more than Doom? Oh man, they about neck and neck. Okay, they about neck and neck. Cause Doom is fun as hell too. After you I, cut the head off, at that what? Neck and neck pun. Oh, Don't worry about it. it was good. Was no, good. no, oh no, God. no, no. BZ gave me that. I'm taking I, it. You taking it? Huh? I'm taking it. Yeah. Next. That, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that> was, <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, that was. You know, it's it's it's. I oh, mean, that's tough. Cause Doom is fun. I need to I need to finish up Doom too before that new one come out. Cause I'm like halfway through uh, the other Doom. So yeah, I, yeah. I, it's it's hard for me to say which one I like better. I, Ask me in about another month and a half or so or something like that. When I finish Doom. When I finish the first Doom, ask me that. Okay. I, I'll let you know. But then, Doom is only one Doom right now. And then that's, I'm playing three Wolfenstein games. So, yeah. it's yeah. like three versus one. So, I, but they, I, I, if you like Doom, and I told you this before. Mm-hmm. You like Doom, you're going to like Wolfenstein. You're okay. Like this, I figured that. It's, it's fast paced shooting, shooting, shooting. And you're just going, going. So, that's it. That's that's what I've been playing this week, and that's what I'm going to continue to play. Uh, I think once I finish up this whole Wolfenstein saga, I'm going to get back on Neo. Yes. And then, I'm a, <laughs> then I want to play uh, Sekiro. 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 Yeah, mm-hmm. I want to play that one. I want to play that joint uh, next. I keep, I keep hearing how dope that game is. So, for you Nintendo Switch lovers, uh, this is not the pro, I'm surprised, but they Nintendo is releasing a Switch version that has longer battery life. And how come that's not for the pro? Like, I mean, there is no pro. Yeah, I mean, are they gonna still, yeah I'm just saying. Like, so it's not confirmed. I thought it was confirmed that it was a pro. No, it's a yeah, rumor it that it's a pro. Officially confirmed. I mean, it's rumored, but and we know what's gonna happen. But they haven't officially came out and said the Nintendo Switch Pro is here. So, so why is this? Li- what about the light? The the switch. The, the light is just a handheld version of the game. So basically, what I guess what they're doing is they're making the battery life for the Switch, the regular Switch, better. Because I guess of complaints or whatever it is, because it does drain pretty fast depending on the game that you play. Uh-huh. So I guess they're not ready as far as production with the uh, Switch Pro, and they want to like curb that right now. So they're gonna just. So the battery life is the actual like. How long the battery lasts as you play? Controller thing. No, it's just when you the, take it out the dock. When you, when you take, take it out the dock, dock yeah, mm-hmm. the whole system. So like, okay, when you got the the Joy Cons connected, it it comes off the same battery. So like it's oh. all connected as one, and then when you disassemble them, then the Joy Cons, you know still have that same amount of charge but it's kind of weird how 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 it works but it's all the battery life doesn't last that long generally when you're not having it plugged in or when it's not docked mm-hmm. especially if you're playing like a heavy and graphically intensive game 
So, I mean, I, I get it, but I would have just waited until they came up with the Switch Pro. I don't know why they're coming up with yeah, I would like, think newer would... models of the same Switch when they got the Switch Lite. And now they're doing this. You should have just waited for the Switch Pro because it's like to have the they need to fix that Joy-Con drift bullshit, mm-hmm. which I guess we'll get to, we too, to, yeah. which would have been a good segue. Yeah, it was but, <laughs> way too saying, early. What? It was too early. early. Oh, yo. <laughs> I, cause, you know, because I've dealt with it. I've dealt with it before. So, like, they need to fix them issues before worrying about battery life. Like, okay. I mean, because the battery life really ain't that much different. It's like, what, an extra hour or two? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, four, yeah. It's, it's say from four and a half to up to nine hours. Yeah, so, so I guess, like you said, depending on the, the game. Yeah, depending yeah, on if you're yeah. playing, like, Zelda or something like that, which most people play for long periods of time so yeah i don't play portable long enough to notice my battery life i think my switch maybe has died once or twice but i normally play it docked so yeah it's just the same it's the same exact switch but but it, they're not going to advertise it like this one has longer battery yeah. life it's just a new model that will have a different serial number or something like that yeah those just probably the next wave of switches that go out to the stores will have this new battery in it they're probably not even going to make a big deal about it or if anything, they'll just put it on the label, say with you know new battery life or this update that part. So I'm still so waiting for my switch. It literally is the exact same. It's switch. the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's just a better, a slightly better battery. That's it. Or it's like the I think it's the chip or the processor or something like that, and oh, that a new uses processor? that uses power more efficiently. Therefore, there's more battery life. Oh. Man, y'all some Nintendo, y'all y'all got and this. This is huh? only being released in Japan, right? Mm-mm. I no, I'm pretty sure they're going to... Well, they'll probably start off in Japan. Yeah, but I then, think it's starting off in Japan. And then yeah. they'll probably send it to Europe and the you know North America and everything like that after the fact. But right now, it's definitely coming out in Japan. Yeah, because that's probably where, of course, it's their home base, and they'll probably want to test it out first there, see if it works. I think this uh, hardware update is because of uh, the cost. You know, like systems have been running for a while. Yeah. Like, after a while, those old parts get harder to find when you're making them. So mm-hmm. it's actually cheaper to use newer parts. So it's like once they figure out the battery innovation, it's like it's cheaper to just make these new switches with the better batteries. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I yeah, I mean, I don't own a switch, so I, you yeah. know, I'm like, damn. I when mean, you like, eventually get one, you'll be happy yeah. that it has a longer battery life. Well, yeah. If you're going to get well, he one. He won't know the difference, though, because if it's his first switch, he's going to be like, okay, that's the normal I'm battery. He won't know the yeah. difference of the one like, prior. I mean, you know, like, this goddamn international flight to Jamaica, you're going to be like, oh, it's still alive. He's not going to know his life is better, but his life is going to be better. I mean, shout out to Nintendo. What? And uh, okay, so uh, granddad. So speaking of the drift bullshit you were speaking on, uh, Man. you see they catching like a lawsuit because of that. So I'm surprised it's it, so fucking is it, long. Is it happened with your contr- your your switch control? Yep. It's happened with mine. Uh, the you? one, not at all. No, you got lucky. It's happened with mine. Actually, uh, the 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 switch that uh, Ken has here also has Joy-Con drift problem. It's a common problem, and I know people who I've known who have switches who have also dealt with it. The they come up with ways for like or like little instructions to how to fix it, which doesn't work. Like recalibrate your Joy Cons or do this and that, and mm-hmm. you're not supposed to take it apart because then it'll void the warranty. Or if you take it apart, it's so many little parts that you can fuck it up even more. So you kind of forced to go buy new Joy Cons, but you know the same shit's gonna happen eventually again. So it's just like you're throwing money away because yeah. like okay, I'm gonna buy some new Joy Cons, and then the shit's gonna happen again eventually because they're just they're made faulty. Like something it's something in them either they're wearing down or it's something with. The way that, and it's just the left one. It's not the right one. It's the it's the left Joy-Con that does it. Really? Because it makes your directional button go like like if you're not doing anything, your directional button will just go left. Uh, and like if you're trying to move it to the right, it'll drag mm-hmm. it back to the left by itself. It's like that. It's like something is forcing it. It's like some Jedi shit. Like the force is like controlling your goddamn Joy-Con. But I hope they fix that because they got enough people who will probably sign or agree with that lawsuit for them to lose some money. But would you sign it? I'll sign it because it happened to me. So, yeah, I'll sign it. If it gets me, you know, if it gets them to make better Joy-Cons or make or make a permanent fix for this so it doesn't happen because that's a big component to the Switch is having those removable controllers. And if they don't work after a certain period of time and it's happening with all these Switches, that's a problem. You got to fix that. Wait, so this is something that happens over time, like as you use it more and more or something that happens like when they come out of the box? Over time. So, like, when you first get it, you don't have that problem, but it just randomly just happens. And sometimes it'll happen. I guess it happens, I guess, depending on how much you use your Switch. Um, but it shouldn't happen at all. It's con- like, like, my PlayStation controller has never had a problem in the entire... Other than sucking. Boom, 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 boom! Jeez. Anyway, <laughs> why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? You knew she, she, she was gonna be... You, you gonna gonna like that. You, you ain't right, about that right now, to Tyler. Me, you pitched it to me and I... And I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, you could have swung in a miss. Come on now. <laughs> you could let that shit... You know, whenever you bring up PlayStation controller around Tyler, she's gonna she's gonna anyway, clap back. She's but, gonna clap back. 
<laughs> like out of all the other we're controllers not safe. We're not safe, that I've Brandon. had, we're not like, safe. I've never had that issue, and I've had them for systems that I've had longer. But it just seems that for some reason with these these damn Joy Cons, and it's just the left one. It's not even the right one. It's the one with the uh, with the. I hope we don't have that problem this, this Saturday. Well, what you the, the workaround for that is to get either a Pro Controller or another set of Joy Cons, or just detach them and then don't use it, mm-hmm. like or whatever. Or detach the bad one and keep it off. There's ways around it, but it's just frustrating because you should be able to use both Joy Cons. Right. You should be able to use the handheld, and it affects handheld mode too because. When you're playing handheld, that drift fucks up everything. Like I can't play Smash handheld anymore, like because I'm trying to run across the stage and right. someone's pulling me to the left and fucking me up from moving, See? you know, which way I want to go. So. so, and it was saying in the article, right, that with the new Switch Lite, that like they're permanently attached, basically, mm-hmm. so right. it's gonna like constantly cause a problem where people would have to get it repaired unless they fix that issue in the in the Switch Lite where it won't happen. They that's, haven't acknowledged the they issue. They haven't acknowledged so. it. That's the thing. Say so we won't know until those switch lights drop, and if people are getting drift problems with the switch light, they gotta pretty much get a whole new system because you can't. That, that makes that makes the system unplayable, like pretty much. So here goes someone that myself that's interested in getting a Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Well, I want to get a Nintendo Switch, and I'm reading this. You know what I'm I saying? Because it's still a great system. It's just got that one little flaw. That's that's, that's the biggest flaw to the Switch currently right now. Is that damn Joy Con shit? My Link gonna be going to the left for no damn reason. I mean, it ain't gonna be out the box. You got at least a good year before that shit probably happens. I don't know. But even still, it shouldn't happen at all. So just fix your Joy Cons, Nintendo. You got the money. Just fix it. Go back. Find out what the problem is. Fix it. And anybody who's got a drift problem, let them send their Joy Cons in and give them new ones that work. That's all you got to do. Everybody be happy. You know, this lawsuit could have been avoided if they would have just, you know, been up front and say, okay, we see there's a problem. Let's fix it. We'll figure it out. But that's just been going on for months, and they've just not really acknowledged it. They said, yeah, we know it's there, but they didn't do anything to fix it. I bet Soldier Boy's controllers don't drift. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Yeah, they're probably, you. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I hate Soldier. I, I hate to say this, especially after she just shitted on the PS4 controller, but my Xbox controller had drift on the right thumbstick. Oh, really? And, uh, I thought you was a oh, fucking team player, oh, man. Oh, oh. I'm not on a team. So, so the, the, the controller that sucks <laughs> Wait. Hey, works all the time. Right. But the one that's right. so great. Right. Moves over all the fucks up, right? Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Strike so you out. made it into Strike this out. war. A2 Brute. A2 <laughs> Brute. <laughs> okay. So, so basically. Like, Sorry. Yeah, I know. I, you know, I got to be honest out here. So, um, so basically, I just put a Q tip in some alcohol and I just fucking. I made it real Q tip alcohol. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, and then I did it around the thumbstick and I let it sit for like 30 minutes or so and then it was perfect. Eric is Man. MacGyver up in this bitch. Uh, oh, yeah, I really right. am. I'm going to do it yourself like a motherfucker. Motherfucker oh, yeah. MacGyver with the damn Xbox controller. Yeah, Y'all listening, do what, he, do what MacGyver just did if yeah. you're having trouble with your Xbox. Or get a PlayStation. That, that, that never happens. That, that, your controllers work oh, all hey, the time. Hey, hey, granddad, all the time you know they work. Hey, never have an issue. I mean, Tyler, no issue. Hey, well, Tyler said they don't work out the box, but hey, I'm fine with them both. So... Anyway, and my Switch why'd controller's you, why'd fine. You get, why'd you get home and that shit start drifting? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Because you, you got that car game on Xbox, right? What's the name of it? Uh, Forza? Forza? Yeah, that's on Xbox, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you're going to be drifting over. No, it was Halo that I was having an issue with. Because it was the right thumbstick. So every time I tried to aim, it was like, I forgot what direction it was going. But He was like, I ain't doing that. But as soon as I, as soon as I alcoholed it up, it never happened again. That was like two years ago now. I still got that controller. See, alcohol is a solution for those <laughs> people. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Damn, Eric, like, I just rubbed and touched on it. That's it. It's, it's hey. There you go. There you go. <laughs> like, Damn. You're everything. Just rubbed and touched on it. My goodness. Ain't no fussing with the tussin. Ain't no, yeah, ain't no fussing <laughs> with Yo. the tussin. Shoot. All right, so next up, uh, EON. I think I'm saying that right, right? EON yes. has an adapter for all you, for, for your folks that love playing your N64. And because you, if you still have a tube TV, which I'm assuming none of you guys do, um, you can still play it using how de- it's a it's adapted where you can hook up your HDMI to your Nintendo sixty four where you can still play it on high, on your flat screen television and not having using the two t- the tube TV to hook up the red and white and the yellow wires you just do HDMI and good to go for you Nintendo sixty four so I can still play Perfect Dark on a nice uh, flat screen fifty inch TV if I want to for uh, I don't even have my NC- I don't even have my N sixty four any of y'all have N sixty four I do like. 
You still got it? Yeah, and it's hooked up to my TV. I mean, like, I haven't, um, my old TV, old TV died. <laughs> no, I just, no, listen. No, 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 listen, no, listen. So, I just got a new TV a couple months ago, and I don't know that I've turned on my Nintendo 64 since I got that new TV, but, like, the one I had before that, like, you just hook it up into, like, the, um, like, the HD, like, AV, like, shit that you have in the back of the TV, like, yeah. the AV holes. Like, the colors are slightly different, but as long as you know what corresponds to audio and what corresponds to video, like, I never had a problem. I'm playing my um my Nintendo 64. 64 on my newer TVs. Now, mm-hmm. the thing that actually takes a little bit more finagling is trying to get, like, my Sega Genesis and my uh, Super Nintendo yeah, into, like, cable. yeah, the yeah. coaxial port. Oh, yeah. Like, but, but, yeah, no, I mean, I think it's really dope that they're that they have like this HDMI converter, which uh, as far as I know is supposed to improve the graphics and all that. So I still think it's a worthwhile purchase, but yeah, I mean, I've never had a problem playing my Nintendo 64 on my newer TVs. Mm, Nintendo mm. just needed to just make that N64 mini. I'm saying. Just like that's what I'm waiting Nintendos for. With the HDMI already Yeah, I'll cop an N64 mini in a second. Man. Like, I've been waiting for them to drop that one. So, And I think Nintendo has to know, like, yo, we dropped this N64 You got to put on, you got to oh, put yeah, on Super Mario 64, Flute Shit of Time. You got to put on <laughs> Mario Kart. Uh, you got to put on Mario Kart. Dark, Golden Eye. You got to put all the good shit on there. Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country. Uh, uh, Kill Diddy Kong Roll. racing, y'all remember Diddy that Kong shit? Racing, yes. yeah. Diddy Kong racing, all yes. that shit. Yes, they yeah. got to banjo. Put, put banjo on that bitch, and then, oh, we in, we in there. Yeah. Let them put banjo on that shit. They got to put all Day that one. on there. They got to put. One. Man, that game will sell out even in the pre order. Like, shit. It, for real, yeah. man, if they, they do that for. And I know Nintendo. They, they have thinking to be about thinking it. about that. Like they have to be talking about with the success of the Nintendo Classic and Super Nintendo Classic. I mean, that's the next one up, so they got right, do isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah, and then, you know, Sega getting ready to release there, so it's like you might as well just go ahead and mm-hmm. throw the N sixty four the PlayStation, which which was horrible. That that shit about to be like five dollars. I was about to say, yeah, that, I was that just about shit, to say, like yeah. shit's yeah. going to sell for like twenty dollars now. Yeah. They fucked up on that so bad, man, that's so they bad. Did. And like we all, I think we all predicted that, like, man, yeah. it's yeah. too much. The games are whack. Yep. This needs to just be down cheaper and like it needs to be a cheaper system, you know, cheaper price. And of course, this went for it went from ninety nine dollars <laughs> to twenty. I'm 20. like, just make this shit ten dollars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like that's literally it's the same price as my Fenty lip gloss that I have on right now. Like, like for real, lip gloss, right. PlayStation, PlayStation Classic. I mean, <laughs> like seriously, like they they messed up big time, man. So hey, uh, Nintendo, please make that uh, sixty four mini because I will. All of us more more likely yep. will cop that quick. I think they Tyler won. even the copy, and she already has the original 64 still. But please, cop that shit. I mean, make that shit happen, please, because I'm up for it. Question I want to ask you guys. That's Shout out to Kevin. Also, I, I didn't even shout out Kevin, in the, in the, the producer of the show. Is Nintendo in a position to dominate this holiday season? What y'all think? Me, personally, I think so. I think with, with of course, because we know next year, supposedly Xbox and PlayStation will probably have their next gen right. systems. So I think this is a chance for Nintendo to kind of put their foot forward this holiday season because we don't really have much with PlayStation coming this fall. I mean, Last of Us 2, that's dropping next year. Next year. They're, yeah, they're, after, they don't after have, the PlayStation season. don't really got nothing coming out except for like... Death Stranding comes Death out. Death Stranding is like their biggest title. That's the one with November. That's the one right? with yeah, yeah, November, yeah. The one that nobody knows what the game's about. Right, right. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I think... I, me personally, I think this can be Nintendo chance to kind of like really, you know, get ahead of, of, of Sony and Microsoft this holiday season. You know, of course... I think whenever you have like kitty like type games, you're gonna you're gonna always do good with that because yeah. parents buying the system for their kids. Hey, okay, go ahead and get this, play this. And with is the light when is the when the is light's coming out in September? I think September, right? Yeah, so September. Like, like I said, never, they stock might have a stuff pro. Yeah, yeah, they so. might have the pro come out for the holiday season. I think they're gonna wait till next year when, e- when like around the unveil of E3 when they can like unveil it. Okay. So I think okay. they're gonna wait for that. But the Switch Light is gonna be like you said, like Eric said, like a stocking stuffer for yep. probably kids who don't have a Switch yet. Yep. And then they got, um, I think they got the they got Link's Awakening dropping this year. Yep. Link's Awakening that's is coming out. Luigi's Mansion Three is coming yep, out. Yep. yep. That's um, another one. Some other stuff's coming out too. So that. yeah, I think Nintendo's gonna do well this year in this yeah. holiday season. I think um, so. And they'll probably have some good like deals or something like that or something with the the eShop coming up too. Yep. So we'll see. And, and also banjo dropping, banjo dropping in fall. Can't wait for that shit for uh, Smash. So, okay. you know, niggas ain't got smashed. They're going to definitely get it for Banjo. If they better. They smart. So, <laughs> if they go. smart about it. Hey, wait, what about you? Um, yeah, I definitely agree. Like I said, the Switch Lite is going to be a stock and stuff for its It's $200. It's going to be in every kid's hand. They are. They got it in the bag. This yeah. this, this drift yeah, thing, yeah. like, I mean, I'm not going to doubt that it's news. Obviously, you said you have gone through it, but I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. And I don't think it's going to stop any of their money. So It's not. 
And, and it's already honestly been most people successful. are just finding workarounds. They if they don't fix it, they'll get, buy a pro controller or buy um, another set of Joy Cons. That's what they do. Instead yeah. of just waiting around, or they send it in the Nintendo support and they'll send them back some refurbished ones, and that'll help for a little bit. So it's not. It's just the fact that it occurs. It shouldn't right. occur at all. That's that's the problem. You can rent right? a pair from Anton. <laughs> no, <Nah>, I'm good. <laughs> I just my own shit. <laughs> what about you, Tully? What you think? You think it's gonna be like you know Nintendo's gonna be the the ish this holiday season? Well, I mean, like kind of like what everybody else is saying. I mean, there really isn't anything major happening with any of the other consoles mm-hmm. around the holidays. So, I mean, in terms of like newer stuff that's dropping and like the games that they got coming out this year. And then also, I mean, yeah, the Switch Lite would be a good stocking stuffer. And I feel like the Switch and like Nintendo products are just a little bit more accessible anyway because they're more likely to go to children who mm-hmm. might, you know, parents might feel like are a little bit too young to get I was about to say a real console. Boom, 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 and I don't boom, actually boom, mean that. Right. I was about to say, wait, wait, wait. I was about to say that. I was like, wait, no. <laughs> you already said it. Console. I know. I know it is. Real, All damn right, it. everybody. Okay. Better than that <laughs> shit you got. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, like, I was going to say it as a joke, and then I was like, no, nah, I'm not even going to. But, like, no, all bullshit aside, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like. I mean, Nintendo has dominated since forever, and so I feel like they're going to continue to to yeah. dominate for those reasons, if nothing else. As long as Microsoft and Sony's not doing nothing big, I think Nintendo's definitely they not because we would have known. They not. Yeah, we yeah, would have. They would announce it. They would announce it at E three. So I yeah. think they're they're just chilling out until next year. They, yep, they just waiting for next year. So. Yeah, you got the Pokemon coming. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So, yeah, Nintendo <laughs> oh, got yeah. it. Nintendo, Nintendo got it. Sweet. We got it's, it's, it's locked down. It's locked down. It's locked up. So, all right. So next we got one gotta go. All right. So this is. This is interesting. Uh, so the games, that one got to go. Of course, I'm going to say four games, and then we're going to pick which one. We each individually going to pick which one we think got to go. First game, NBA Street. Next game, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Third game, NFL Street. Fourth game, SSX. Damn, that's a list. That shit's hard for me. I would, that's just, because, that's just because I me. never played it or – Really didn't care to play it. I was, I'm with you. Tony, Tony Hawk. No, I'm not with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought he was going to say SSA. Yeah, right. I play, I play, I play. You totally did that wow. family feud thing where you buzz in before <laughs> yeah, the full right, question right, right, asked. Right, like. right. Yeah, so for me, it's Tony Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I've, 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 I've never played that game. I wasn't interested in playing fucking it. Fucking tripping. So. <laughs> well, I mean, fucking I, trip. No, I'm not saying it's whack. I just no, never, no. I never played right. it. I, just I, never, I never played it. I never was interested in it. I mean, you know, I'm. I was just never really interested in skateboarding, so it, that that game didn't interest me at all. So I'm saying that game just by default. SSX simply because I haven't played it as much as I've played the others. I've had countless hours, especially on Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk is – and then it's NBA Street, NFL Street, and then SSX. Oh, okay. So SSX is going for me. I thought you didn't even like sports games. Those are arcade sports games. Like, those are – like they're not gamey, they're not gamey like super games. serious sports yeah, games. So serious. like you can have fun yeah. with them if you're not into the sport. And honestly, yeah. even back then, I used to play NFL 2K2 and 2K1 and NBA fucking live yeah, and shit. Yeah. Even though I didn't, I still didn't give a fuck about sports. But I would go through the season mode, create my whatever height I was character at the time, like five foot two, dunking on niggas and shit. <laughs> it was crazy. He had his little cornrows. He was the shit. <laughs> my car- I made a character too, like NBA 2K2, and he had like blonde cornrows, I want to say. <laughs> and I had just like super high ass stats for no fucking reason. Wow. I'm like, telling you, bro. Me and, me and Reggie Miller, we wasn't no joke, bro. Pass <laughs> three. <laughs> it was, trust. I used to be on that shit, man. Oh, man. What about you, Tyler? Any games out of that for you? Be like, Gotta go. You never played either of them. Nope. I haven't played any of them. Wow. Not a one. Not your one. Childhood, your childhood was terrible. Not one? <laughs> I've not played one. Come on now. Come on. He now. said, come on now. What about you, Granddad? This is this is tough. Like I play all those games religiously. Like I love Tony Hawk. I love NBA and NFL Street. Good mem- and SS I had good memories of all of them. So I, I it's hard to say. I'd have to say though, probably agreeing with Eric, probably SSX. Yeah. Tony Hawk was just like Tony Hawk got niggas liking skateboarding. For real. Like, straight up. Like, niggas who never skateboarded a day in their life, they was playing Tony Hawk because it was that fucking fun to play that game. NFL Street, NBA Street, come on. Like, if you was into NFL, NBA, you played that shit, and that shit was fun as hell. Like, the crazy fucking tackles and the fucking moves you can do in mm-hmm. NFL Street and shit like that. It was, it was, crazy. It was and, and same thing with M- NBA Street. Mm-hmm. SSX was a great snowboarding game. 
But I think SSX Tricky was my favorite out of them. Not the first SSX, but Tricky. That was my shit. So I would have to put SSX then because, like, that one out of all those, I would say has, like, that was tough, though. But, yeah, that would be the one. What time period did these even come out? Because, like, I never played any Early of them. 2000s. Early 2000s, yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, I used to watch. I mean, I don't really watch basketball as much anymore. I'm more of, like, a college football girl. But I used to watch, like, NBA. And, like, you know, I've always been into football. And I just never really fucked with like any of those like i said mm-hmm. i used to play like nba 2k2 like around that time and then, like madden and like ncaa football especially like around that time but mm-hmm. like the ones like these and yeah, I, this, I, this I heard i remember hearing about them yeah but yeah, yeah. nba never... street was the first ps2 game i ever played yeah. and it was PS2. just like that soundtrack NBA 2K2 and shit. was the first uh ps2 game that i bought really mm. yeah wow wow okay yeah and that p rock would come on man that was yeah. that, yeah. that, was that yeah. shit man those, those are the yeah, days man. yeah that's dope that's dope yeah so but I mean, unlike Chris, you said what Tony Hawk had niggas interested. Niggas in. was was kick flipping their asses off. I wasn't on that nigga, game. This nigga wasn't. We was we was, This nigga was You pulled off the nine hundred, nigga. You felt like a goddamn yeah. champ, nigga. Hell yeah, man. That shit was. Uh, man, I, I, I just I dismissed everything now. Anything that was skate, you know, skateboard ish. I was like, nah, I'm straight. I mean, I knew, but I knew I've heard of Tony Hawk and I knew who he was. Yeah, that game was a moment. It was just like it was, man. I was like, uh, okay, this skateboard game. Psh, next, I didn't care about it. Um, questions. Questions. First question comes from Cool Chris, sixteen. Cool Chris. <laughs> what are your favorite Twitch stream moments? Oh man, well, mm. like like my favorite, our own personal ones, like yeah. from our streams, or just what we've seen. Yeah. Yeah. Go go for personal. Go for yourself. Okay. Advertise. Man, That's what I'm gonna do. it's got a, it's a tie. <laughs> it's a tie between uh. Me falling out of the sky and days gone. That's my favorite watching. <laughs> Even though it was <laughs> the most terrible, shit. that shit was hilarious. That was my favorite. I, I that whole that stream. That whole stream. I saw that shit live. That man. shit like, oh my God. and me beating the Queen Valkyrie. Mm. Those are my two oh, favorites. recent, yeah. Yeah, so me beating the Queen Valkyrie on God of War and the days gone, falling out the sky and shit, the glitch shit. That, those are my two favorites. Dope. I'm, I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. All right. Um, off the top of my head, I'm yes. gonna say, oh, that happens it's like not. every single time. That's still, that's still, <laughs> that's still great though, man. Biatch. But I remember like one time I was playing Overwatch and I had like a 26 kill streak, uh, playing this diva, and Damn, that was like a ooh. really dope moment. I did like a whole uh, highlight video of that. Um, and then, like the moment when I was streaming, we happy few. And it rolled the credits and like started the game back over if you picked a certain thing. And mm. I was just laughing on screen for like I two minutes. I think someone yeah, clipped yeah, it. I think someone yeah. clipped that. Yeah. Uh, that was fun. And then um, other than that, I would say there was this – it was Super Bowl Sunday. And I was streaming Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And like me and a bunch of people in the chat ended up having a really interesting conversation about like – college athletics and the kind of demographics or makeup of the people in the stands versus the people on the field. It was actually like this really dope kind of, um, you know, social justice issues type conversation that I was having with me and the people in the chat. And I really thought that was dope. You know, it's cool to talk about whatever. It's cool to have fun shit. But, like, everybody was engaging in this conversation that was a little bit deeper than some of the other stuff yeah. that we'd be talking about. about. So that was fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So deeper than that shit I'm about to talk about. <laughs> fucking tech and comeback, boy. When I was hollering on that stream. You was like, unfucking believable Not that one. That one was also that was hilarious. That shit, yeah. you're, like, you're like, you're damn right, unfucking believable <laughs> Believe it, right? Yeah, believe, believe it. it. Yeah, said, believe it. It was that fucking, uh, I, was, I was playing with Lay. Dude had me on the ropes, beating the fuck out of me with Steve. And then I just, I'm like, all right. I just had to go in my ultra instinct mode. Fucking fucked him up. Yeah, I'm just fucking, my bad for the ear, uh, People abuse listen, there yeah. but anyway i was so fucking hyped that was such a moment for me man and i don't have a whole lot of moments i'm like right here most of the time but that was that was my shit right there um also just the other day laughing about Nas's new track the jero of rap track yeah. we were just talking about it in the chat mm-hmm. it was one of those you had to be there type of conversations but that shit was hilarious and i'm just crying the whole time while we talking about that shit because it's like how you feel about that track b as a dead in hip-hop uh person Oh man! Yeah, Come on, B. Know. Just the one track. Um, thumbs up or down? Yeah, thumbs down. I mean, <laughs> I, yeah, I yeah, I thumbs down. I mean. Yeah. Well, um, we had a funny ass conversation about that just last week. But um, man, it's a lot of moments, man. Um, playing Sonic Mania when I 
drowned and then tails stole my bubble like it, it was so much that that moment even though it was offensive as fuck but that shoot gay boys moment in forza like that was hilarious it was fucked up but it made me laugh i'm like damn i got trolled hard as a bitch but um but yeah a bunch of moments from your stream when we would do the uh the rap thing uh-huh. man so many moments man so many moments with the fucking rapping robots on a jackbox party stream but uh what you got b Man, I mean, I, I guess one off the top of my head is when I first purchased Resident Evil 2 and I came home and streamed for like six hours that night. Um, I mean, that was fun as hell. I mean, people and the fact that people were still in there in the chat, super engaging, me cracking open this game. And they're like, damn, are you, you getting ready to beat this thing? I said, yeah, I'll probably beat it tomorrow morning because I'm going I'm to wake up, eat some breakfast and finish it off. And I did. But yeah, I would say the first night I turned the lights off, had the lights all off and it was just dark. I'm playing this game, cracking open for the first time. Like, that shit was cool. Um, I'm trying to think. Cause I, I mean, I, I've been, yeah, I had a lot of, I mean, uh, near Spider-Man. I'm just trying to think of, like, moments from that. But, yeah. yeah, Wolfenstein, Doom. I mean, just me going crazy over killing stuff and just, like, hell yeah. Like, just, yeah. But Resident Evil is the first one that jumps out where I'm, like, super hyped for, like, that first night. The first night I'm playing that game. Yeah, I had my food on the side. Like I was, I was at my drinks and stuff, and I was, I was ready. I had, I had, I set the mood for that game. So that's the only one I can think of as far as my favorite Twitch moment is when I first cracked open RE2 remake. Where before we get into the next question, we got some breaking news from Nintendo. We have a rumor. A source familiar with Nintendo's updated customer support documentation says that customers will no longer be requested to provide proof of purchase for Joy-Con repairs. Additionally, it is not necessary to confirm warranty status if a customer requests a refund for a previously paid Joy-Con repair. The prior repair will then issue a refund. So maybe, again, rumor that Nintendo will fix these broken Joy Cons for free. They're just gonna give you new ones. Right. And it's just gonna happen again eventually. <laughs> Damn, son. Right. Damn. I want to hear them say we fixed the issue. This was the issue. It's fixed. It will never happen again. That's what we want. You we scared of a, a red ring of death situation? Nigga, that's huh? what they're just gonna give you. Something. Here goes some more Joy Cons. Shut the fuck up. That's what they're saying. Maybe you should. Maybe maybe I should. <laughs> that ain't gonna get, that won't produce results. See, they want to keep us down. <laughs> they stay results. in your place, you gamers. <laughs> That's what they want to do. So they want us to keep buying this shit. And I love Nintendo, but sometimes if they wrong, they wrong. And they wrong. What did you want them to say? That we know this is an issue. Mm-hmm. We figured out what the problem is. We are going to redesign the Joy-Con and put out new ones. If you have a bad Joy-Con, send it to us. We will send you a better one that's fixed. Okay. You want to be like, I fucked up, baby. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry, baby. I fucked up. Here you here. Here's a Mercedes. I feel you. Like something like that. As of right now, it's in rumor status. So maybe when there's an official report, maybe yeah. they'll say all of that. But I feel you. I do feel you. I think I hit y'all with the shaggy like it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> so our next question comes from Diogen. How do you balance gaming or any other hobby you have within a relationship? That's a good question, you know, Diogen. I mean. And that's like outside of. It's kind of like gaming, but it's outside of game about gaming. What was you about to say, Granddad? I mean, it's all about balance. So it's like either you, whatever relationship it is, whoever's with, like just make sure like it's the perfect balance where if they're in, it's, it's better if they're into the same thing so you can share that together. So like if y'all both into playing video games, I can play video games together. Mm-hmm. And if they're not, then just find a way where you're not spending all your time playing video games and neglecting that other person because then that becomes unhealthy and then, you know, that's not good. So just find it's all about balance. So, you know, respect, you know, the other person. If they're into it, that's even better because y'all can share that moment. But if not, just – but if also if they're talking shit about what you do or what your hobby is, if they just talk shit about it, that's not good either. So make sure they respect your hobby, but you respect the fact that they're there too so you don't overdo your hobby and neglect them. So balance. Yeah, I echo Willie. Um, invite to share that hobby with them, but – if they're not fucking with it, just, again, balance, like you said, and limit it when they're around. If you, I mean, not not all the time when they're around, but if, like, spend quality time and yeah. don't take that for granted. Pretty much. But everybody likes a video game. You could probably find something that they would like, maybe. Yeah. Just got to open them up. I tell them if they don't like it, they can get the fuck <laughs> on. No, just play. Um, <laughs> no, for real, I have, I have gotten into arguments with, ex-boyfriends like people that i was dating or whatever like at different levels of seriousness i've gotten into arguments about 
playing video games. And I mean, those relationships ended probably not specifically because they were like, you play video games too much. But the thing is, is like, I'm just a person that needs a certain amount of alone time or time to myself anyway. And so I'll often Mm -hmm. use that time to game or I might use it to read or whatever. But the thing is, is usually the times when that's caused an issue, it was somebody that wasn't respecting my need for personal time. Right. And so it ended up kind of being in like the bigger issue was more so that they weren't respecting my need for alone time and the gaming aspect of it was just kind of secondary. So those relationships ended because like I need to play by myself. Like I, I can't yeah. just be yeah. up under you all day every yeah. day. That's yeah. just not yeah. how I I'm get the same down. Way too. Like, you can't I'm be the all exact up, same way. You be all up on them or all around them. You just get tired of them. Like, get away from me. Like, go do something else. Don't you got no friends? Some shit like that. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it'd be, yeah, it'd be like that because, like, after initially in the honeymoon phase, oh, I want to be around you all the time. But then you're like, all right, I need to go do my own thing. Kind of, like, miss you a little bit. Like, let me get my own personal time. And then we'll come back and we'll, you know, we'll hang out. So, but that easy, I get you. I mean, with me, that's kind of already kind of be established like uh, you know i know you if you got you doing your own thing or you got something a side hustle or whatever you're doing cool i respect that i like to do you know play games play basketball or whatever whatever like i i do that thing if you want to be there to watch me play basketball cool i come see to whatever you like to do or be interesting what you like to do i'm more i'm more of a compromise i'm good at compromising like if you if it's stuff that you like to do even if i'm not really that interested but and if i see you putting some type of effort or to to balance your life in with mine's, I'm gonna do the same thing. So yeah. you know, I, I don't mind that. But yeah, just like Tyler said, like yeah, I, I want some alone time. I do like to have some alone time. Rather, if it's just sitting at the house listening to some music, drinking wine, or playing basketball, or playing video games on Twitch, like yeah. I want my alone time. So you have that's gonna be established up front. Like it ain't yeah, gonna you be gotta like, have that. I'm not time. about to like sugarcoat nothing and just be acting like I got all this time in the world for you. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know. Like, look, I got some personal space I like to have too. Right. Like, respect my space. So, you go right. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you yeah. what you're not about to do. Right. Like, like, just I like mean, yeah. try to check me about like me wanting to do my own thing and not like sit right. under you all the time. Right. And I've always been like in every single serious relationship that mm-hmm. I've had, I've always been the bigger gamer, which I know is kind of the antithesis to what people like to say on fucking social media and shit about like oh when you turn on your playstation and your girl hears that noise huh? like them kind of tweets right, and shit right, right, right. that narrative irritates the hell out of me i get i mean i guess yeah that's common or something but anyways long story short in all of my relationships i've always been the bigger gamer mm-hmm. so um i've definitely had conversations about it with people but like it was always more so about the time issue like nobody's ever said you play video games too much right outside of that of them just wanting more of my time right. like nobody's ever been like you know video games are childish or any shit like that right. because yeah. that'd probably yeah. be like all right check please check, like, yeah right. yeah yeah no i've never been in that situation like that either where they say video games because i mean i don't play them that much to where it's like damn you take all your time playing a video game you know like i have my alone time playing it when you know i'm not playing it you know when you know so it's yeah a balance like you said uh chris mm-hmm. good balance that's all i gotta do yep Next question comes from Saint Dementia. Favorite podcast? Oh, Saint, you could have came up with a better question. Come on now. Everybody knows it's dead in gaming. Right. What the fuck you mean? What do you you think we was going to say? Something else? I'm binging that shit right now. I'm on episode 33. Can't wait to see where it goes next. I mean, to be <laughs> what's that crazy granddad gonna say? What is he gonna say next? Right, right. What, what? I mean, what yeah. game me mother gonna say is the greatest of all time on that bullshit? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, like you know, with me. With so much stuff I got going on, I really don't have time to listen to other podcasts except for what I'm doing, which is Dead in Gaming, Dead in Hip Hop, uh, Is the Mic Still On, Frames Per Second, Dead in Sp- Like, I, I listen to our stuff because I'm a fan of what we do and what, you know, all the other entities that I'm involved in do. So it's like, I don't really try to listen to other stuff. I don't listen to people be asking, you, you checked out Joe Button's podcast or you checked out? Nah, I mean, I'm so busy engraved in what we doing so i don't really pay attention to nothing else not to sound like i'm tooting our own horn but i'm just being real you about to have a beef with joe button i can't wait yeah i don't i don't have time to i don't i mean i don't have really i don't make time i don't hang on i have time i don't make time to listen to other podcasts because i'm so busy enjoying what i do with with all my family and the crew and stuff so oh family yeah Oh, I mean, gotta, but I, I, I listen to like the other podcasts, like, like is the mic still on? Like even you know, not mm-hmm. only when I'm a guest on there, but I just listen to it in general because, like, I mean, it's entertaining. So yeah. I would say, yeah, I mean, the podcast that come out of here, and it's not on some you know advertisement shit, but I just enjoy the podcast that come out of Dead in Studio. So 
if not dead in gaming which is my favorite but like if not that one then i would say something else that comes out of here probably is the mic still on or something like that okay same yeah the podcasts that come out of here are the reason that i am here so they you know they are in my rotation but obviously other than that double toasted y'all see me wear the merch y'all see me raid their streams and get an ex double toasted member on the show so um other than us them for sure ear day all right and also, I'm going to get my uh, Miko blouse ready for this beef with Joe Button. I'm kind of excited about it. We going to stand up. Hell yeah. Oh, man. That's Do it look like I was up on Bad Bougie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I guess that's all the questions. That's all the questions. Man, well, that's going to do it for Dead End Gamer this week. You know, we are sorry for the folks on Twitch who couldn't get the video popping, man. We was having some technical difficulties, but we still had to get through because we got – other stuff we had to record here at Dead End Studios in Atlanta. You know, we still got the frames per second. Uh, make sure you guys check that out. We're going to have Tyler's going to be on that on uh, what crawl review, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So make sure y'all li- be on the lookout for that and be on the lookout for the podcast, of course, this Friday. Also, too, um, we just became a partner. Our YouTube channel, Dead End Games, hey. just became a partner hey. on YouTube. Thanks, thanks for you guys always for subscribing and commenting. I'm I'm loving the comments and every time we upload a video, so that's dope. I'm, I like the fact that y'all engaging. So and I try to I try to be engaging back in the comment section because it just be so tough sometimes. Um, but it's easy right now because there's not a lot of comments like on Dead End Hip Hop is like nuts. After one day, you can forget about it. But thank you guys for always subscribing and even subscribing to the Twitch channel. Like I said, I know we said we're going to try to try our best to try to get some more gaming videos on the Twitch channel just besides the podcast. So we're going to have see all four of us playing games and acting silly and all that other wonderful stuff and on the YouTube channel as well. So make sure you guys keep on subscribing, keep on being engaged, and also subscribe to our individual channels, which... You say it'd be if you scroll down. Yeah, yeah, it's in the in the panels of the Twitch. In the page. panels of Twitch, yeah. So make sure you check, look at all that, all that stuff up. So follow all of us individually as well. So we we always. It's on the YouTube and, channel. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh no, you good? You good? Um, yeah. Let's talk about the videos that are there exclusively. We have the toughest boss fights coming up this week. We did our top five disappointing yeah. games by the way people yes. disappointing means it didn't live up to our expectations doesn't that mean doesn't mean the game, game is trash right all right. Up hated it. y'all right. feelings in these or comments. you shouldn't right. like it it's right. our it's disappointing right. list because we was excited for it <laughs> yeah. and yeah. it disappointed us reality versus expectation Thank that's you. that's disappointing that's all it is that's all like, it well, is. I, I, like it. A dis- I even gave a disclaimer during the shoot i mean come on what you mean it's disappointing this game ain't trash i love it i said none of that like okay the word trash <laughs> never came up the word right. bad never was said like what do you mean right. like, so uh so yeah we got toughest boss fights coming up we already uploaded our top five favorite games of all time yep. the top five or not top five but games we're looking forward to in 2019 games mm-hmm. we have played so far in 2019 so check mm-hmm. all that stuff out exclusively yeah, on youtube and stay up with it yes yeah. and don't yes. forget this saturday smash tournament is going down live at dead in studios so make sure if you ain't going to be here, watch it on Twitch. It's going to work. If that Twitch going to work, we're going to make sure. That shit's going to be working right. But we'll have the 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 whole final matches stream. It's going to be a good turnout. Make sure you stick around for that DG versus Cheesy Controller spotlight match. Yes. Because, yeah. you know, Can't wait we, about to, we about to put in some work. Can't wait for that We're about to put in some work. And, uh, oh, yeah, don't forget, get a shirt. Speaking of work, get a shirt. One last time, get a shirt. Because the, the link's going up Saturday. Official. Dead and Game of Merch. There it is. I'm in a decade. Oh my God. I'm in a decade. I'm in a decade. Damn. I'm in a decade. <laughs> it got upgraded a right, little right, bit. Right. Be Friday. Confident. Be confident. Who coming out Friday? Don't matter. You. Me. I guess it don't matter. Me, huh? myself, <laughs> and I. Another Gary Legend. Another exactly. Gary, Gary Legend. 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 Don't you make that face, Kevin. You don't know me. You ain't never been Gary. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't step foot in that turf. I ain't going to sign You ain't got no pass for me, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm in a century. Coming out. Oh my God. I love the common error. I'm a, I'm, I'm in a millennia. Nothing like this for the next thousand years, okay? <laughs> album of the age. Oh, album man. since the coming yeah, of Christ. Right. right. Jesus is going to be bumping this shit. Right. <laughs> oh my God. We check out our From Gary. Week, man. Next week for episode 50. For hey. Episode 50. Yay. Hey. Hey. We throwing a party. I'm wearing a party at. Hey. Twitch will fucking work, I guarantee. It will. It yeah. will work. So we check out our next week. Peace. 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 Peace.